Been a while since I've made a video, but let's go somewhere a bit more interesting. There we go, much better. Now, gonna get on water in just a second, but I brought a brand new cannoning rope and I've got to mark out the halfway line. It's still in the car, so I'm just gonna do that first and then we'll get out there. So I finally splurged on a new rope. This is the Blue Water Canyon Extreme, eight millimeter rope with a Dyneema, Dyneema core and a Technora sheath, I think it's called. Uh, not the cheapest thing in the world, but once you've used it, it's really hard to go back to the other types of rope. Anyway, I'm gonna mark the halfway point, which is uh, quite useful for safety. And the way I'm gonna do it is with the good old Sharpie. Now, uh, there are lots of different products to mark rope out on the market. And I actually emailed Blue Water saying, hey, what's kind of the best thing to use for this particular rope? And they sent me a link back to Amazon um, to a Sharpie. So that's what I'm gonna use. Now, quite simple, like I said, using a Sharpie, I just grab the middle section here, and I just like to do three marks on it. So roughly about an inch or so each. And there we go, there's the third. So this is my halfway uh, mark. All right, now that that's all done, it's finally time to get out on the water. And there we go, much better. Welcome to beautiful Bonnyvale and Bundina. Shortly, we'll be paddling over that way. So here's a fun little fact for you. I pretty much had the GoPro 9. I'm shooting on the 10 at the moment. And I used to love using the voice controls, especially for the kayak. You should turn it off and then just say, uh, you know, GoPro turn on and then the start recording bit and away you go. Well, I just spent the last five minutes yelling at my GoPro to turn on and nothing. I had to paddle in back to shore, double check that the voice control was on, and it was. So I spent another couple of minutes yelling at my GoPro to turn on, still nothing. And I went into the commands, and the GoPro turn on command is no longer listed there. I didn't know that GoPro disabled that, and I wonder why, because it was such a useful feature, especially for kayaking. I can't really reach my GoPro from here without getting out of the kayak. So, a little bit bummed and annoyed about that. I'm gonna have to do some reading when I get home. But yeah, that was fun, especially for the people on the shore, watching some strange kayak dude yell at his GoPro. Anyway, I do apologize for any wind noise. I should have put on the little wind slayer, wind sock thing that I got. It would have been a good test, but I didn't. One of the many, many things I forgot on this trip. So quick little life update, I guess. We are officially out of lockdown. Vaccination rates have just hit 90%. And we can pretty much go anywhere, meet anyone, do anything, kind of life back to normal more or less now, which is uh, which is really nice. It's uh, so nice to uh, eat out, have a drink, and catch up with some friends. It's uh, been very much missed. And of course, going out and about, I did a canyon trip the other week, which I posted that video on. I think uh, my voiceover career is, is over before it began. It's just not too happy with that, but I thought I'd post it anyway. Got a lot more trips coming up. Obviously out kayaking today, just for a bit of fun. And I wanted to make a video because I haven't for a long, long time. In a few days time, heading down the coast with my friends or canyon. Gonna practice some self-rescue stuff. Uh, on that trip, should be a good bit of fun. Hoping to turn that into a video too. Just a little adventure. Not too much camping coming up. It is leading up to summer. Uh, it just gets way too hot here to uh, have an enjoyable camp and yeah, just not my cup of tea. But during lockdown, I did what uh, any self-respecting adventure person would do while in lockdown and that is buy more gear. So. I actually have a package on the way from Mountain Laurel Design. It's taken, it's almost four months now since the order date, but it's finally underway. They make great gear, but man, they take a while to ship. So I look forward to that coming in, and of course I'll do a little uh, opening video and I'll show you what I got, and I won't get too much of a chance to use it. It is a, a camping bit of kit, but at least not for a couple of months. But uh, can't wait anyway.
Now, on to the DJI Action 2, and I use the word action very loosely. First of all, I love DJI. The uh, Pocket 2 is one of my favorite cameras. Um, absolutely love it. Great vlogging design. It's got the wireless mic, everything. It's just great. Really, really well thought out camera. Um, it's now my main studio camera. It's, it's great. Love DJI, love their drones, etc. But the Action 2. Props to DJI for, I guess, being innovative, trying something different. And I think it's a great camera. However, I think it's more of a, like a GoPro session type camera. Meaning they really missed the chance, missed an opportunity to start a new product line. Because, look, an action camera, it's really, really not. Already people have broken the lens non-replaceable the body although it looks kind of tough as soon as you drop it it scratches it nicks it dents obviously the modules aren't waterproof and i mean i could go on and on and if you want me to i can do a whole separate video of it but long story short i really don't think it's an action camera i think it's competing a little bit closer to that session type of camera Insta 360 Go 2, for example, is uh, probably its closest competitor. But I, I really think that GoPro, when they saw the unveiling of the Action 2, took a uh, big, deep breath, big sigh of relief because it's really not competing against the GoPro. I couldn't take it out here like I am with the GoPro right now. I've got spare batteries in the back so I can paddle and chat. And if I run out of batteries, I can just change that. But if I had the Action 2, obviously the other module, the battery module isn't waterproof, so I'd have to stop, charge it up, re, you know, attach it back on and then keep going. So it just doesn't really, you know, it's, it's a great little vlogging camera, a great little kind of take anywhere, holiday video style camera, but I really don't think it's an action camera. So personally, I'm probably not gonna get it, it just, it's in between the Pocket 2 and the GoPro. And the GoPro does GoPro action stuff really well and the Pocket 2 does vlogging stuff really well. I don't really see a need for the Action 2, but that's just me. So a quick little channel update. Planning to shoot a lot more videos going forward. Um, like I said, I've got a fair bit of new gear during lockdown. Apart from the purchase from MLD, I actually got a Garmin InReach Mini, which I've been testing in all different types of situations. Got a whole bunch of new canyoning gear. Got some other outdoor hiking gear, including some uh, black diamond carbon trekking poles, which I've been testing, and a few other bits and pieces. So the channel's still definitely going ahead and still um, gonna be active, I guess. And the direction's definitely still gonna be outdoors as a whole rather than kind of hiking and camping focus which I feel a little bit guilty about because that's how my channel started and obviously I became uh, you know made a lot of friends in the community in that space so I just want to say I didn't know you're under no obligation to watch these other videos if hiking or canyoning or whatever or climbing doesn't interest you don't worry about it it's all good there'll be plenty of other hiking and camping videos uh, coming up but you know, watch what you enjoy. I just film what I enjoy and I do it all because, yeah, I love doing it. So there's no obligation, pressure, whatever from anyone. So just doing it for the hell of it. All right, so we've been paddling for just over three k's now and we've crossed over two beaches. Uh, started over at Bonnie Bay, or crossed over Bundina, which you didn't really get to see because I just kept ranting on. And this is now Jibber Beach. I'll just turn a little bit so you can see it behind me. Beautiful, beautiful little beach. And if I spin completely 180 degrees, you can see behind me, basically around the corner, I don't know where I'm pointing to, um, over in that direction, the uh, the heads which open up into the ocean. So really nice little spot out here. 
very, very uh, busy on the weekends, but it's uh, it's a weekday, thank you, shift work. Um, have it pretty much all to myself, so I might head on over to the beach and go for a swim. One big, uh, big upgrade on the GoPro 10, mm. and you can obviously get it on the 9 as well as the uh, hydrophobic lens. Makes such a difference. Clears the water so quickly. I was noticing when I was paddling, the uh, the splash from the paddle landing on the little selfie screen there, but basically nothing was sticking to the lens. It was either almost bouncing off or just sliding off. So really, really good upgrade, GoPro. Well done. So that's about it guys, gonna wrap up the video here. As always, thanks so much for watching and hopefully see you in the next video. Bye for now.